Archangel Michael's Sword of Light, Part 1 This channel includes a direct message from A.A. Michael about using a Sword of Light. He assists us releasing past patterns and energy that are now holding us back. How many times do you find yourself procrastinating, holding back, not making a decision or just standing in limbo? Sometimes this form of resistance can be a protective mechanism from your divinity. But most often it's your ego or personality getting in the way and keeping you in limitation. A.A. Michael has been a part of the energy fields of Earth for many, many centuries. During that time the way humanity has perceived him has shifted. It's gone from a form of righteousness and protection to a place of flowing light that will assist you in creating change or integrating more of your divinity. During this channel he will assist you in creating an even deeper change and when using his sword, you actually seal off the area once you've cleared the old energy. He then gives every person their own sword to use as they so choose. This channel clears energy on many levels and assists you with a new tool from A.A. Michael. Even if you were given a sword in the past, this one is associated with the crystalline energies of the universe. Shelly Namasika, Venia Benya, I am the one, I am the whole I greet you beloved family. I reach out to each one of you. I reach out from my heart to yours celebrating our time of coming together. Celebrating that this is a time in which you are choosing to acknowledge yourself. Acknowledge yourself as your divinity. Acknowledge yourself as the individual that you are, infusing the energy of your light, of your God Source energy, so that it may become a part of your everyday life. As I align more and more fully with each one of you I find that the energies of the earth continue to transform. Everyone who walks upon the earth is living and breathing. You have a biology that creates who you are in this lifetime. You have your thoughts, your mental, emotional, spiritual, physical energies that create you as this person in this lifetime. You are also this immense God Source energy. You as your divinity stretches into infinity. From within that space you have access to more than you can comprehend as the human that you are. I would like to speak of this at this moment because the more that you allow for your consciousness to tap into that potential of so much more as your soul essence the more that you can let that flow into your life upon the earth. That is what I am doing right now and that is what you do for yourself numerous times throughout the day. We speak of ascension. We speak of how the earth has ascended in other words moving from the third dimension through the fourth and into the fifth dimension. We speak about the individual people that have moved through an ascension process and that ascension process has taken you from the third dimension, through the fourth and into the fifth and even the sixth and for some the seventh. I speak these numbers because it gives the human's analytical mind something that will assist you in greater understanding. I invite you to take this moment and look around you. Feel who you are as a person in this now lifetime. Consider your emotions. Consider your thoughts or your beliefs and as if all of that just swirls together weaving a pattern of light that is you open to that right now. Take a deep breath in and then breathe out. Eh, I can feel each one of you becoming so much more grounded and centered through that discussion. I invite you to take one more breath in where you send your energy, you breathe in and you send your energy all the way down into the earth as a means of grounding yourself to the earth. Then let that flow of energy come up and you release the consciousness of your physical body. You allow all that energy move into the space of your higher self. As it arrives within your higher self look around at what this space is to you. It may be a place where you see the things that you have been working on. It may be a place where you see opportunities and potentials, perhaps some of which have not as yet manifested for you. Perhaps there are some of those things that you would like to clear out. So will you clear out that energy? Let it go and then allow this place to become your sanctuary where you can still be very grounded and very conscious of the energies that are within here. Allow your consciousness to stream even further as if you follow that cord of energy that links you to your divinity. Allow it to stream all the way back until you find yourself linking with your own I am presence. For some it may be as if you see a person walking towards you for others it is just an indistinct flow of light and energy. Howsoever you perceive your I am presence I invite you to take a moment, as if you know this is who I am in this lifetime, and I would like to see who I am as my divinity. Then as if you are opening up that door or opening your third eye look even deeper within your divinity. 
As I speak of this it is as if I see coming from your I am there is a part of your divinity that is saying, Welcome you are here. You have come to connect to me thank you for taking this moment to reconnect. You are so loved. You are so valued as the individual that you are coming straight from your divinity into you in this now moment. Allow your energy to merge completely with your I am presence and as you do so allow your consciousness to stretch out, as if you push the boundaries even further, as if the unconscious part of you moves out and becomes a part of what you are conscious. Be open to receive. Be open to allow for this flow to come within you the person that you are right now. I the goddess walk in and amongst all who are here. I reach out to embrace you as your consciousness and all of you as your divinity. As we do so you may find yourself shifting into the space of the all that island. Feel as if you allow yourself to come within this space of creation so that you may know what is here, so that you may know yourself and the many, many, many opportunities. Each time that we get together there is so much that I wish to speak to you about. There is so much that I wish to communicate, well speak, communicate but there are many different beings and beings of light that would also like to participate in these teleconferences. So that which I speak all the many different energies and beings that are here for you, and also to assist you in realizing that any time you would like to come into this space and reach out for one of the angels, for one of the teachers, the Ray Lords for whatever that may be you can do that. I can facilitate this, but so too you have the opportunity to move here within this space. I wish to speak this evening about limitation. How often within your life have you said I would love to participate in? You fill in the blank for your life, but I'm not qualified. How many other times has someone invited you to be part of a group experience and you think yes, and then you come behind yourself and think I am not as qualified as they are? They are really open and in alignment and I'm open, but I'm not where they are. How often in life have you wanted to do a particular job and then didn't even apply because I thought I'm not qualified? How many times have you looked at perhaps a place you want to live, a car you would like to have and said I would love to have that in my life, but... And then you can finish there. As humans you have a tendency to think within the narrow confines of your personality or your ego self. As humans especially for those that spent so much of their lives in the third or the lower parts of the fourth dimensions, it was as if you were raised with limitations. So in this now moment I invite each one of you to have a sense of connecting with limitation that you have within your life. Okay I've been hearing some of you say as if you see it on a projector or on a screen, or if you have a sense of writing it upon a board. Whatever it takes for you to become conscious of limitations within your life let that come into you now and you can see it feel it, howsoever it resonates with you. And then with whatever that may be take that which is the most primary to you, or that which seems the biggest to you. As if you are reaching out to whatever it may be bring it up within your consciousness, bring it from the ethers wherever that may be and then have a sense of bringing it up, bring it up, bring it up and you and let it go. I could feel each one of you releasing whatever limitation is to you. I could also feel several of you as if there was a string that was attaching whatever that limitation was so you could kind of sneakily pull it back to you. So once more as if you take that laser or that sword of light whatever it may be and as if you go down to where that source is within you, connect to where it may be. As if you are gently bringing it out from there bring up that foundation or that source of limitation, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, will you, much better. For some of you as we release the limitation it is as if you just kind of float. So limitation in your life can be like a weight that you are carrying around. Begin to look at the opportunities that are now coming towards you, because you let go the lack, or the limit, and you open to new potential and then let that flow within you. Okay, okay. How often in your life do you procrastinate? How often in your life do you say you are so excited about something you have coming up? but you don't take the steps to prepare. You don't send out your invitations. You don't do whatever the groundwork is you may need to do, but you still want to have so badly, to have something that you want to manifest. This is a subtle form of how unconsciously you have resistance that keeps you from embracing fully what you seek to have. So if there is procrastination within your life send out that energy, send out to wherever that may be so that you can pull it into you, pull it towards you.
and any way that you procrastinate let that come up within you bring it up, bring it up you, and let that go. Few as if there is a wash of energy I just see everyone just clearing out your energy fields and I feel the excitement of anticipation. Okay now I can go do that. Now I'm ready. Now let me get started in my project.